Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat for Jeff Gordon Drive for 5, the penultimate episode of the series. We're locked into the final four with Jeff Gordon and the final two spots are up to grab, uh, up for grabs. So we come straight through though into qualifying here in ISM out of turns four, crossing the line with a 26.289 and that puts us in P14 here for uh, ISM Raceway. I did actually put in a new setup for this track so hopefully uh, it will work out for us here as Keselowski is on the pole. He and myself are locked into the final four so myself Kozlowski we don't get anything to worry about here today at ISM Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott are the other two drivers in on points currently so we'll see if it stays that way as Ty Dillon he failed technical inspection so he's starting at the back of the field and there is your pole winner of Brad Kozlowski now as we're ready to go green here for the final race before the final four is four set four here two, po uh, two positions locked in the other two up for grabs now as the green flag is out and the final race of the round of eight is underway behind us we got our teammates of Jimmy Johnson and William Byron and then on our inside we got the nine of Chase Elliott is going down into turns one so uh, 400 cars right here all together now as we come through these first few corners nearly getting into the back of there of the six of Ryan Newman as we head down this back straight away for the first time Kozlowski actually running that little special Christmas paint scheme I think that came with the free update uh, and patch that came out uh, with NASCAR he for uh, yesterday uh, when I recorded this video now as we're on the inside of Ryan Newman at the end of this first live and nearly making a little bit of contact with him as Elliott is up to P12 as we go down into turns one. Martin Truex Jr., uh, Joey Logano, those are two of the drivers currently on the outside looking in, and they're almost in uh, must-win situations. I pretty much think Truex is the only one that has a chance to point his way in, and that's still going to be a long shot for him unless Chase Elliott kind of struggles, and that's actually what happened here in this first stage. You see Elliott not even in the points right now as we come through on lap 12. We had actually gone past Elliott and have been running about P11 or so as we were going way down onto the apron trying to be really aggressive in these corners gain these positions and we have climbed up inside of the top 10 and just continued to slowly work our way forward as the tires that were coming in uh, to my advantage at this point in the race but certainly this setup felt much better than what I've run in the past now as we came through on the white flag in the first stage actually a subscriber Kevin uh, recommended me to try the uh, new setup here at ISM Raceway now as we come through turns one and at turns two down this back straight away for the final time there you see behind me Chase Elliott uh, one point to his name right now as we head down into turns three and at turn four for the final time here in stage one that one point could be big for Chase Elliott as we exit the corner he's gonna have the momentum on the exit but we're gonna hang on to P9 here in stage one so a very uh, solid effort at least for us in the stage winner I believe was Brad Kozlowski. Kozlowski uh, was dominating in this first stage. He's certainly putting himself up there to be one of the top contenders I think for the next episode uh, at Homestead Miami Speedway. So we would pit for two cans of fuel uh, four tires. I also made a bit of a wedge adjustment because I, I like to just mess with the wedge a little bit. I changed the wedge up from the original setup uh, quite a bit and hopefully we can make some changes to make it looser because it still felt a little bit too tight here and I was get ready to go green for the second stage in Sonoma. Already the green flag is back out and we are underway here for stage two. Kurt Busch and Eric Jones in front of us. We're going to get very aggressive making it three wide here on this restart as we go down towards turns one getting to the outside of Clint Boyer as well as there you see Joe Logano up ahead as we go a little bit too wide leaving the door open for Eric Jones who tries to get in there but we shut it on him on the exit of turn two heading down this back straightaway. Kurt Busch running P7. He's not in the playoffs currently but behind us Chase Elliott is in the playoffs and he certainly wants to make it in to that final four as we come through turns three and at turns four coming through to complete the first lap of the second stage. Clint Boyer there in P6. He's another driver that's not in the playoffs just trying to get the best finish he possibly can but Joey Logano right in front of us. He's still in the playoffs trying to make it into the final four but he's going to have to probably win this race if he wants to be in now as we would continue here battling with these same drivers. Kurt Busch, Joey Logano will come through now on lap five of the stage and the caution actually came out as the guys in front of me had started to pull away a bit so that would group us all back together from P7. No one had come to the pit lane, so we would get ready to go green here from P7. Now, as we're once again underway here at ISM Raceway, Chase Elliott just behind us in that ninth position. That's kind of the, the main driver we're watching today because he's the last guy in on points right now. Is Truex? He's going to get very aggressive here on the restart. He's going to go from third to first with a three wide move on Kislowski and his teammate of Kyle Busch. And now Truex leads the way. If he finishes in P1, he locks himself in and kicks Chase Elliott out of the playoffs. Now, as he came through, though, on lap 9 of 15, actually getting uh, into the inside wall, I think it was there as he came through the turns for us. That actually dropped a bit, just kind of making a little bit of mistakes. And then finally, we come to the final lap and the stage down to P. 
88 as Harvick was still way up ahead at this point. Now, as Truex had continued to lead, you see behind me Chase Elliott, he had fallen back as well. He was outside of the top 10 here in this final moments of the second stage. And Truex, he was gaining a ton of points on Elliott in the first stage. And then now he's going to come through into turns three and turns four. And Truex is going to hold on to win the second stage. So he'll gain even more points on Chase Elliott as we come through to cross the line for a fairly, uh, fairly solid position here with P8 in stage two. So now Chase Elliott and Martin Truex Jr. are going to have to duel it out on points because Truex gained enough points on Elliott in those first two stages where it's definitely going to come down to a battle between them as I decided to make another wedge adjustment here. It was down to 49.5 uh, at this point. Then I went down to 49.4 as well as we get ready to go green after gaining two positions on the pit lane here as we get ready for stage three. Not much has really happened for us so far in this race, but now the final stage is underway here, and we are green once again at this point. 39 laps to go. You're going to see me get very aggressive once again on this restart behind Brad Kozlowski and the two Kyle Busch uh, in the 18 there on the inside. Kyle Busch, as long as he doesn't uh, have a terrible final stage, and uh, he will easily make it into the final four. So basically, I think Kyle Busch, as long as he finishes top 25 or so, he will easily make it into this final four as we go down into turns three in front of the 22 of Joey Logano. Obviously, at this point, I'm thinking, well, I know the points are probably close, close between Truex and Elliott, and if Truex, win, no, uh, Truex wins, no matter what, he eliminates Chase Elliott, so I wanted to try and get up there and actually pass Truex, but obviously, yeah, I just didn't have nothing for the leaders at this point. We had dropped down to P6 behind Joey Logano and Kyle Busch, who had gotten around me as we went down into turns one on lap 42 of 78 at this point, so starting to lose a little bit of hope now as we came through on lap 43, Harvick licked the stamp and sent it up my inside, making some contact. He gets past me, and then Elliott comes through, has climbed his way back in the top 10. He passes me with 35 laps to go at this point as well, so we're starting to drop down the order a little bit now as Hamlin was trying to put on some pressure as well as we went down into turns one. William Byron also in the picture a little bit, but we would hold on to P8 for this moment now as we came through on lap 44, heading down this back straightaway into turns three. Just uh, now is actually the caution comes out with 35 laps to go, so this is going to set us up for a restart. No pit stop necessary, so we get right back into the action from P8. We go three wide up the middle between Elliott and Kevin Harvick. Now as we head down towards turns one, we're going to do the same. Threading the needle between Kyle Busch and Joey Logano. True Rexo still leading the way, and that's the biggest key right now in this race. Chase Elliott is currently on the outside looking in, and True Rexo is, like I said, gaining enough points that he can still beat Elliott easily on points here in this final stage. Is I actually back out of the three wide between Elliott and Logano, knowing they both are trying to make it into that final four, so I decided to play a little bit easier with them. Now as we're side by side with Harvick as we come through to complete that first lap since the restart dropping down once again to P8. Kind of P8 has been kind of the average position we've been running for the majority of this race and we will continue to run in P8 now as we came through. Lap 57, the caution actually comes out again with 22 to go. I thought it was a no-brainer to take four tires and two cans of fuel and then I put the wedge down but to my surprise, the AI did not take four tires. I've been making a lot of pit road mistakes lately in this game so we dropped down to P21 which is isn't as bad as I thought, but now we do have an advantage at least. We got four fresh tires and the AI don't, so we get very aggressive on this restart, getting down on that apron, which is completely legal uh, for the record now. It's going down into turns one of the inside of the 41 of uh, Daniel Suarez, so obviously the four fresh tires could be a huge advantage for us, and we're going to have to do whatever we can because the longer this run goes, the less of an advantage it's going to be. Now it's going down into turns three at this point on lap 62. We climbed up to P13, passing Jimmy Johnson. We climbed up inside the top 10, passing our teammate at Chase Elliott on lap 66 and Alex Bowman as well. So we were moving our way forwards quickly, passing Kyle Busch now on lap 69. Uh, nice now as we come through turns 1 and turns 2. So we climbed up to P7. We passed Clint Boyer as well and then set our sights on Denny Hamlin as we were running now P5 on lap 74 of 78. So only 5 to go in the caution. Comes out late in Sonoma, which will force overtime as Kyle Larson brings out a yellow. So now, we know what we have to do. Truex winning this race will automatically lock him in. We need to do whatever we can on this restart to keep him from winning and at least give our teammate at Chase Elliott a chance to point his way in. As we get down on the apron, we're going to go down up the inside, three wide for the lead here on the potentially final restart in ISM Raceway. And then Truex and Kozlowski both have more momentum, but Truex slows up just a little more than Kozlowski to head down this back straightaway. And Brand Kozlowski is clear for the lead. He's already won this round, so that's okay if he wins. As we go down into 
turn three, but we've kind of done our job. We've kept Chase Elliott a chance to at least point his way in if he can gain a few positions in this final lap as we cross the line. The white flag is in the air. Keselowski leads away over Martin Truex Jr. in P2, and somehow we find ourselves in P3 as we go down into turns one and turns two for the final time here in Phoenix as we exit the corner a little bit wide, but Keselowski leads that way down the back straightaway. Shouldn't even be a contest. Truex doesn't have anything for him. As we go down into turn three, we even send it up the inside of Truex one last time, but we don't have anything for him either as we exit turn four. Keselowski wins. Truex second, myself in P3 here at ISM Raceway. So a very, very solid finish for us. Elliott, P7, but was it enough? Uh, here in ISM, and unfortunately, I can confirm it was not enough. I actually skipped over the points real quick there, but we're going to show them uh, here in just a moment here on the main screen. But like I said, unfortunately, it was not enough. Elliot eliminated by four points here at ISM Raceway. So it's, my, or it's uh, Keselowski, myself as Jeff Gordon, uh, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., who will fight it out for a championship in the final episode at Homestead Miami for this mini series. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys in Miami. So thank you for watching everyone and have a, yourselves a great day.